is Timothy Thatcher, and I began wrestling in 2006. I'm not a sports entertainer. I entertain you with my sport. My style in the ring is a very submission-based style, very aggressive. I want to hurt you, and I want to win. My influences are men like William Regal, Fit Finley, Billy Robinson, and Yuki Ishikawa of Battle Arts in Japan. They're men that are taken seriously and are feared and respected at the same time. What motivates me for professional wrestling is I'm trying to convey and bring back it to the sport that it ought to be. Evolve is different from other promotions because they showcase the fighting art and they symbolize the strongest of styles. And to be their champion is extremely important. Nowadays, professional wrestling is too many pretty boys, too many people that are more interested in being famous than are interested in being sportsmen. I definitely would not describe myself as a pretty boy. I don't think it, no one wants this smile. No one wants this crooked nose. No one wants this appearance. This is not from, I'm not trying to be a model. I'm not trying to be an actor. I'm trying to be a professional wrestler. Tonight I will be defending the Evolve title versus one Matthew Riddle. I look at first to defend my Evolve title. That's what's most important about this. The payback is also in my mind. Like I said before, Tim, one of the best catch wrestlers on the planet, but I'm by far way better. And bro, bro, he had to cheat to beat me. Yeah, he and did. yet, granted, he still holds the belt. But look at us, we're still four strong. Hey, maybe I'm playing devil's advocate, but look at the record books, you know? Matt lost. Did he lose fair and square? I don't know. Maybe not, but he lost. He's not the champion. We don't have that title belt, and that's the way it is. So we move on from here. Matt lost. These things happen. Do you think this is over between you and him? No, definitely not. I wouldn't want it to be over either. I, I don't want to end it like that, and he doesn't want to end it like that. Obviously, if there's any question to my victory, I need to right that wrong.
I'd rather be forgotten than remembered for giving in. I'm not a sports entertainer. I entertain you with my sport. My intent is to make people think of pro wrestling in a different way. No interest in fame or money. That is not the end goal. I will only be who I am. I don't care about being the main event. I don't care about being a star. I care about getting my point across. Anything that most people do in the ring, I do my best not to do. I want people to have genuine emotions about what I do. In a world where fans react a certain way because they are supposed to, I try for the opposite. I was going to be judged on my skills between the ropes alone. People could take it or leave it. I was to be in control. Gone was the cartoon character, pandering to the people, the talking. Gone was the personality. If people didn't enjoy it, then they could look someplace else. Now it just seems like... What do you want from me, Kenny? I've, I've explained myself before. We don't, we don't have to keep doing this. I explained it in front of you. I explained it in that ring. My actions are what it's gonna, it's what's gonna settle all this. My actions, that's all you need to pay attention. I'm tired of these words. Words don't mean anything. It's just actions. Timothy Thatcher feels it is not fit, and he is not deserving right now to hold this title. And that is why I am carrying, out of respect, Tim Thatcher says whoever touches this belt, he is going to hurt. Well, Matthew Riddle has held this title, and I am holding this title right now. And I don't see Timothy Thatcher anywhere out here acting like the man he should be. The Gulak, members of Catchpoint, and especially Matt Riddle, have all disrespected your title over the past couple of months. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, your thoughts on Matt Riddle? I think I've covered it enough, but you've seen what Matt Riddle's done. It's a very disrespectful individual. And he needs to be taught a lesson. That's fine, they can boo. Uh, they can do whatever they want. I'm fed up with anybody trying to tell me what to do and how I should do my craft. I said before, Gulak will get his, and I mean that. Do you want to expand a little bit more on that? No. You'll see. You'll see. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Evolve 16!
67. And we have a huge show tonight for you here at Ball 67 as we make our return to Brooklyn. We've got a triple main event. And it is official, it will go down tonight. The Evolve Championship will be on the line as Drew Gulak challenges Timothy Thatcher. I don't know why Thatcher's up in the face of the official. Official's absolutely correct. Thatcher needs to get his head in the game. You're the champion, know the rules. Well, I think that just may be the hatred running through Timothy Thatcher here, perhaps getting the better of his judgment. Thatcher perhaps trying to injure Drew Gulak. That winning this match may be secondary in the mind of Tim Thatcher at this point. So these fans in Brooklyn are now getting behind Drew Gulak. As he stares down Gulak, and they are nose to nose, Joey. Both men just smashing at each other's faces. champion. If you think you can beat me, come and try. Change. Change. That's all I've been hearing about. That this company is changing. Zach, you're in my spot. You're taking my spotlight. You know what they say. When you come at the king, you best not miss. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to your king. The man who is on his 595th day at the Evolve Champion. out of the ball 78 it is now set the evolve championship match it will be timothy thasher defending the evolve championship against zach saber jr all right there's a lot of new i'm gonna ask you guys who thinks tonight is zach saber jr's night yeah! and who thinks the legendary historic reign of Timothy Thatcher continues with another win here in New York City. And we're gonna find out in our main event. You know, I haven't had a title match in you know, over a year.
Fujiwara Omar. Rolls through, floats over. It's over! It's over out of nowhere! in what this company is promoting and I think if I believe in that then I have to be the face of this company. I feel like I know what I need to do and I feel like I know what I want to do. Being a champion of a company like Evolve is uh, well, symbolic that you're uh, for now at the top. He takes copious amounts of punishment. Fans cheer him for it. Why? Because the fans like to see people get hurt. And I told him when I stood in the ring with him in New York. The fact that you call yourself a wrestler in the presence of myself or Zack Sabre Jr. is a disgrace. You injure yourself for the pleasure of these people. And as soon as you stop doing that, they're gonna stop caring about you. So what you need to do right now, Darby Allen, is you need to take your broken arm and step out of this ring right now. Now, Mr. Allen believes he can become the Evolve World Champion. You're setting your sights a little too high there, Mr. Allen.
wise man once said, if you do not learn to listen, you will learn how to feel. Nothing's over till you're underground. Myself and Walter as Team Rinkampf will get to wrestle Daisuke Sekimoto and Munenue Sawa. Walter. When I heard about this match, I was very excited. Uh, I know Walter and Sekimoto have quite the history. It was Walter versus Daisuke Sekimoto and WXW in Germany. Those matches were what made that company stand out and one of the main reasons why I really wanted to be there. For me though, Mr. Sawa, it, that's incredibly important for me to share the ring with him. He was a battle arts student of Yuki Ishikawa. I wear this hat all the time, which is the Battle Arts Academy, which Mr. Ishikawa trains uh, students now in, in Mississauga, Canada. That was very influential on me as a pro wrestler. Uh, to train under Mr. Ishikawa and the battle arts style was how I wanted to be as a pro wrestler. And Mono Norisawa was one of the first guys that I saw do it in America because he wrestled on Evolve 1 against TJ Perkins. And he wrestled at Evolve 5 against American Dragon Brian Danson. when I changed my wrestling style and started wrestling the way that I do was because of people like Sawa. And that's why I ended up here in Evolve, because if I wrestled the way I did when I started wrestling, I definitely wouldn't be here. For me to share the ring with him, he retired a long time ago after Ballarts went out of business because he is also very passionate about how he wrestles. He believes Battle Arts style is the way it should be done. And so when Battle Arts went out of business in 2011, Sawa said it's not worth wrestling because, much like myself, the way we convey ourselves in that ring is incredibly important to us. And if we can't do it the way we want to do it, then why even bother? So I never thought I'd even get this chance. I don't have too many things left in pro wrestling that get me excited and that, uh, I'm, I really look forward to and that I feel I need to do still. But this tag match is one of those things and I very much look forward to the WWE Live experience in New Orleans coming up this year. <laughs> 